Good evening, everyone. Welcome. I'm Nicholas Bodel, president of the Mideastern Federation of Greek Orthodox Church Musicians. It's so nice to see you all here tonight as we continue our virtual gathering this weekend. So that you are aware this event is being recorded for the sake of those who are not able to tune in live this evening. Before we begin and jump into our program, just to say a few words about our MEFGOX Memorial Scholarship Program that was established to award scholarships to deserving students throughout our Federation. These scholarships may be used for private music lessons, classroom instruction, tuition, and educational materials in various areas of study. Our students have enhanced their expertise in music theory, in composition, voice, choral music and conducting, Byzantine chant, organ and piano accompaniment, and music education. Now, you may recall that every year during the Grand Banquet and our annual convention, we present these awards and honor our scholarship recipients, in addition to making an appeal for contributions to grow our scholarship fund. So this year, in lieu of our in-person convention, we decided to put together and present to you our first ever scholarship concert of performances by several of our past scholarship recipients. We're so glad you all are here for this premiere. And before we begin, I would like to introduce Father Dimitrios Kazakis, who is with us tonight and will be our MC for the evening. Welcome to Father Dimitrios. He is currently the Proistamenos of St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church in West Babylon, New York. But he is a Mefgox baby, he having been raised at the St. Sophia Church in Syracuse. Father Dimitri graduated with his Master's in Divinity from Holy Cross Seminary in 2011. Yesterday, I believe, was 10 years to the day that he was ordained to the Holy Diaconate, and he was ordained a priest in June of 2012. He's been married to Presbytera Diana since 2009, and they reside in West Babylon with their three children. I was going to say they reside in uh, by the waters of Babylon, but that's something else that's uh, biblical. Mm -hmm. uh, Father Dimitri is also a past Mefgok scholarship recipient. Uh, he was awarded several times between 2002 and 2007. So we're so very grateful that you're here tonight, Father Dimitri, to lead us through our performances. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to Father to lead us in an opening prayer and begin our program this evening. Thank you, Nicholas. Thank you, everyone. I hope everyone can hear me uh, well. I just realized I'm unmuted. Everyone else should be muted, but uh, uh, we're going to begin with a blessing. We're going to begin with a prayer and uh, to thank our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the blessings bestowed upon us. And then we'll move into uh, a few more introductions and some housekeeping practicalities, and we can begin the program. If everyone could please uh, join in prayer together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, we thank you for the blessings bestowed upon us to participate in the Mideastern Federation of Greek Orthodox Church musicians and choirs. We thank you for the blessings of our hierarchs, our parish priests, and our clergy, our choir directors, members, and all ministries participating and supporting our church musicians. Grant us health, strength, and protection during the dangers of coronavirus. And remember those who are sick, those who have recovered, and all medical staff that have served them. Grant eternal memory to those who have fallen asleep and to all our Federation members who have fallen asleep in the service of our Lord and Church. We pray to you, Christ our God, that you bless the fellowship of this Federation, all participants and all recipients of scholarship. We ask Almighty God that you strengthen your people, that you fortify our faith, grant us the endurance to continually praise your most honorable and majestic name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, always, now, forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Thank you again um, for having me. I would like to thank especially His Eminence Metropolitan Nicholas of Detroit, His Eminence Metropolitan Savas of Pittsburgh uh, for granting me uh, the blessing to participate in this uh, very worthy event. Uh, even though we are not able to gather together, it's a homecoming for me to be able to uh, rejoin so many people from MEFGOX, to reminisce about uh, so many memories and to really understand and appreciate um, how many years of my life were involved uh, with MEFGOX, the formation that I had, all the uh, memories and all the ability to uh, gather together and be together for beautiful conventions. And most importantly, 
uh, to lift our voices in praise and song to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, as I said earlier, uh, we pray for all those uh, who have fallen asleep. Um, I uh, will quickly uh, reminisce that um, as many people have asked me, when I uh, felt the calling to become a priest uh, was at the, um, it was at the 2002, I believe it was 2002, Mefgox Choir Federation, uh, Troy, Michigan, honoring Father Harmond. And um, I was sitting next to Dr. George Raptus. And um, I, I think about that event, I think about that convention, I think about that moment where I was singing the Divine Liturgy, I was participating and praying in the Divine Liturgy, watching the service, watching uh, His Eminence Metropolitan Nicholas and all the clergy serve, and I had that calling. I had the desire to actually be there with them. And I remember that moment uh, often. I always pray for uh, George Raptus, for Peter Vatsuris, for George Georgiantis, for all the people that I remember uh, growing up with and singing with and chanting with and serving our choirs. And uh, today is a real honor for me and it's a real blessing to be able to be with you. So I thank um, uh, Nick Bodel as president, uh, Dr. Vicki Pappas, uh, Ms. Barbara Minton, Kiriako Theofanos. I thank you truly for the opportunity to uh, gather together. Um, this evening, as we see many uh, scholarship recipients perform uh, pieces for us, uh, we remember that uh, tonight is also about honoring uh, recipients and also being able to participate in the future of many church musicians. So throughout the evening, I'm going to remind you uh, to please visit the chat box or the chat section of this uh, Zoom call as there will be a link uh, to make donations or to at least share the link for those who uh, feel it necessary and feel like this is a worthy opportunity to support the future musicians of our church. So for future scholarships, there will be a link uh, for donations and for um, opportunities to support. And you can check that in the bottom. I believe actually uh, Nicholas just shared that with everyone. It's a PayPal um, uh, donate link. So please check that in your uh, chat box. As Nicholas also said, just a few more, um, a few more comments. Um, I received uh, uh, scholarships from 2002 to 2007, and it was well within my, uh, the beginning of my seminary career in Hellenic College. And again, on behalf of um, not just myself, my mother, Elaine Kazakis, very involved with MEFGOX, my sister and now Presidenta Leah Garinis, who uh, my brother-in-law, Father Aristides Garinis, is in uh, Flushing, uh, Queens, St. Nicholas Flushing. I'm in St. Nicholas Babylon, not to be confused. But on behalf of our entire family, uh, we truly thank you all. And um, again, in reminiscing, uh, one of the churches that we visited, St. Demetrius Rocky River, ended up being the church that I was married in. When my wife, Diane, and I were married by um, a blessed memory, His Eminence Metropolitan Maximus, with Metropolitan Nicholas and um, many other clergy. My father-in-law, uh, James Dukas, served for 14 years in Rocky River. So it's an honor and a blessing to be again with all of you. We'd like to begin this evening, um, and Kiriako will be sharing these beautiful presentations um, via video and audio so everyone can participate in seeing the past scholarship recipients beginning with uh, Dr. George Cholak. And if you would um, allow me to read a few uh, highlights of his bio. George Cholak has been a member at a member and steward at St. Constantine and Helen in Western Michigan, an organist for the past 13 years. He served as organist for the Mefgax Conventions in 2015 and 2018. He received his Mefgox scholarship as a recipient in the year 2015, in which he used to pursue a music minor during his undergraduate studies at the University of Michigan, Ann Arbor. As part of the music degree program, he studied music theory, composition, chamber music, 
and the piano performance primarily in classical and romantic repertoire. He's currently a third year medical student at Oakland University William Beaumont School of Medicine and aspires to be a hematologist or an oncologist. And we uh, are ready to hear his presentation. Thank you, Kiriako. If we can please give our undivided attention. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm George Cholak. I'm from the Saints Constantine and Helen Greek Orthodox Church in Westland, Michigan. I'm also a previous Methgoc scholarship recipient. Today I'm going to play for you a piece by one of my favorite composers, John Rutter. It's a solo piano transcription called The Lord Bless You and Keep You. Thank you very much. Thank you, that was beautiful. That was George Cholak playing The Lord Bless You and Keep You by John Rutter. The second scholarship recipient is Ms. Theodora Constantine, who is pursuing a Master of Physician Assistant in Studies at Duquesne University in Pittsburgh, hoping to graduate this August, which is now very soon, where she hopes to work in family medicine. Originally, Theodora is from Youngstown, Ohio, where she attended her home parish for her father as well, was the parish priest of St. John the Forerunner. Since she's been in Pittsburgh, she's attended many of the Pittsburgh churches, but considers the Dormition of Theotokos in Oakmont, Pennsylvania to now be her parish. She plans to teach music for Sunday school at the Dormition Parish this coming year. Theodora received her uh, Mefcox scholarship in the year 2018. She will be presenting us with uh, two performance pieces. One is O Isis and Osiris from the Magic Flute by Mozart and Air for Musical Clock by Handel. Personally speaking too, Theodora is a um, affiliated family member through Kumbari, her brother, Father Lefteri Constantine, who is the personal assistant of Archbishop Pidophoros is our Kumbaro. So by association, we are family as Kumbari. 
So we now present Theodora Constantine from St. John the Forerunner in Youngstown, Ohio. Thank you. Hi, my name is Theodora Constantine. I am from Youngstown, Ohio. And today I will be playing with my sister-in-law, Ellie. Thank you so much for playing with me today. Uh, I will be playing the flute and she is playing the alto recorder. We're gonna be playing two pieces for you today. The first piece is called O Isis and Osiris from the Magic Flute and this is by Mozart. Thank you for listening. Thank you to Theodora. Thank you equally to my kumbara, Presidenta Eli Constantine. It was a surprise to see her just now perform and a beautiful performance by both. Thank you very much. The third scholarship recipient is Dr. Alex, Alexander Kuzmidis, who uh, I go personally many years back as he is um, born and raised outside of uh, Cleveland, Ohio in uh, Rocky River, St. Demetrius Parish. And I've known him even before my father-in-law was parish priest at St. Demetrius as Alex and I um, had many uh, enjoyable times together uh, growing up in Mefcox. Uh, Alex will be performing the Waltz's Opus 64, number one, D flat major. And then for num uh, number two, he's in C minor. Dr. Alexander Kosmidis is an ophthalmologist and glycoma specialist practicing in the greater Cleveland area. He's a lifelong member of St. Demetrius Greek Orthodox Church, Rocky River, and becoming a regular member of the church choir at age nine. The gracious scholarship he received from Mathcox 
supported a broad education, including a bachelor's degree in music and biochemistry, later culminating in a career as an eye surgeon. Dr. Alex continues to share his music with family and friends and remains an advocate for the church and the choir's mission. We now present Dr. Alex Kosmidis. Thank you. Hello. I will play two pieces for you tonight by Frederick Chopin. The Waltzes, Opus 64, numbers one and two. Number one, the minute waltz in D flat major. Number two, in C sharp minor.
Thank you, Dr. Alex. And again, those two pieces were from Frederick Chopin, a beautiful opportunity to hear the skill and grace and phenomenal presentation by many of our scholarship recipients in MEFCOX. Again, if you go to the middle portion of your Zoom screen, there should be a option uh, where it says chat. And if you click on that, you will see a link to PayPal uh, where you can uh, participate and donate in supporting the scholarships of MEFCOX and future recipients. Again, as we uh, support and promote church musicianship amongst all our parishioners and young people, especially affiliated with MEFCOX. Again, thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. Uh, the fourth piece, the fourth scholarship recipient that we will hear from uh, used his scholarship for uh, and musicianship to become a professional musician. Mr. Michael Malice received his scholarship from FCOX in the year 2011, becoming eventually a professional musician. He studied at the University of Michigan and uh, hails and supported and served uh, within the choir with uh, St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church and Cathedral in Troy, Michigan, and the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Cathedral downtown Detroit. He became a pianist and composer. We will hear from him this evening an original piece entitled 31114, which are three pieces for piano. And again, this is by Michael Malice, scholarship recipient from FCOX, presenting us with his original piece. Thank you, Michael. We'll be correcting that volume uh, momentarily. Please bear with us. Thank you. Hey, everyone. My name is Michael Malice, and uh, thank you all for having me as a part of this virtual MedGox conference. I'm really excited to be here and uh, share a little bit of my music with you. So I was a MedGox scholarship recipient when I was in high school, and that was very helpful for me in going to college, where I studied music. I went to the University of Michigan, studied music there. And uh, I've been a professional musician ever since. Um, I actually spent a little bit of time um, as a church musician. I've been organist at St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church in Troy, Michigan, as well as um, at the Annunciation Cathedral in downtown Detroit. So the church and church music has always been very important to me. And one day I hope to write some music for the church. That hasn't happened yet, but I hope at some point I can write some music for the church. Growing up, uh, you know, I was always fascinated with, uh, with the chant and with the church music. And it really feels like a, an important part of my musical identity as a composer, as a pianist, and just as a musician. So thanks again for having me. I am uh, looking forward to this. And I'm going to share a little bit of my music with you. I'm going to perform a, an original composition of mine called 31114. Uh, this piece, uh, is you can find it, a recording of it on a collection of mine called Three Pieces for Piano. If you just find, go anywhere that you find music, whether that's uh, Amazon or YouTube or Spotify or Apple Music or just my website, which is www.michaelmalice.com, you can find all my music there, including this piece, and also learn a little bit more about me. Thanks again for asking me to be a part of this.
Thanks again for having me. Have a great conference. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Thank you to Mr. Michael Malice, uh, again from St. Nicholas, Troy, Michigan, uh, a beautiful original piece. Uh, the last scholarship recipient, which we will be highlighting this evening, is Ms. Jane Michaels from Holy Spirit Greek Orthodox Church in Rochester, New York, my neighboring parish uh, growing up in uh, St. Sophia. Uh, Ms. Michaels, again, from uh, Holy Spirit Rochester, received the Mefcox scholarship in the late 1970s while a member at uh, Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church in Rochester, becoming assistant organist while learning how to play the organ. Learning how to play the organ presented some difficulties. So the Mefcox scholarship offered uh, a tremendous amount of support while she studied organ through a community program offered by the Eastman School of Music at the University of Rochester. Throughout all those years, being able to be privileged to accompany many guest directors, especially from upstate New York, um, Dr. William Harmond, uh, Nick Maragas, Ted Bogdanos, and Anna Gallis, uh, Ms. Michaels had the uh, opportunity and blessing to work with many church choirs and directors as well, George Georgiantis, Betsy Palace and Mary Scarlatos from Rochester, New York, just to name a few. Her other involvements include district workshops, conventions, musical reviews, Christmas pageants, Orthodox Sunday combined choirs. <coughs> Today, she's the accompanist and organist at Holy Spirit Church in Rochester and member of those choirs for uh, that particular choir for many years. And since childhood, uh, always being grateful to God for the blessing to be able to participate in choir through organ, through accompaniment, and other facets of church musicianship. We will hear Ms. Jane Michaels at this time uh, presenting the memorial suite for organ and choir by Anna Gallos. Thank you very much. Go. Hello. I'm Jane Michaels of Holy Spirit Greek Orthodox Church, Rochester, New York. I have chosen a composition by Anna Gallus titled, A Remembrance of Evelyn. It is a memorial suite for organ, carillons, and choir. It was written in memory of my husband's aunt, Evelyn Michaels, who was dear friends with Father George and Presbyteta Anna Gallus. You will recognize the various hymns sung during a funeral service. I hope you enjoy the excerpts from this piece.
Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Michaels. Uh, before we turn it to um, Dan Pakison again to um, Nicholas Bodo to conclude the evening, and then with uh, Mr. Dan Pakis with the presentation of this year's uh, scholarship recipients. Um, a few people have been um, commenting and asking. The majority of the time that I remember being at the choir convention, uh, this, uh, this evening would be primarily about uh, supporting future scholarship recipients and also remembering those who have passed and those who have fallen asleep. Um, I personally uh, will always appreciate our time with uh, of blessed memory, His Eminence Metropolitan Maximus of Pittsburgh. Again, as I mentioned before, my parish priest for many years, um, Father Michael Harmond, again, George Georgiantis, Peter Vatsouris and George Raptis, just to name a few of the people that I had close contact with uh, this evening, uh, I certainly remember them and pray for their uh, everlasting rest and eternal memory and uh, look forward to making a, a donation to our scholarship recipients in memory of them. So again, uh, if you look on your uh, Zoom screen in the middle in the bottom section, uh, there should be a button that has chat. If you select the chat button, you'll be taken to the chat room or the chat page and uh, Nicholas has provided a link to PayPal to offer uh, scholarships uh, to, again, participate in the support of our future musicians for scholarships. And again, to remember those who have gone before us and those who inspired us to participate in MEFGOX, to be uh, church musicians, for me, uh, to participate as a clergyman and to be ordained. And for all of us, again, um, as uh, before, again, I want to be just selfish for one more moment. I want to thank my, uh, my father-in-law, uh, Father James Dukas from St. Demetrius Rocky River before he retired, still residing in Cleveland. And again, my family, my, uh, my wife, Diana, and um, for everyone who has allowed me to participate uh, today, Vicky Pappas, Barbara Minton. Again, thank you to Kiriakou Theofanos and a very big thank you uh, to President uh, Nicholas Bodo. Thank you very much. And um, it was truly an honor for me. And I believe um, I saw uh, Mr. Dan Packis uh, has joined us and he'll be making the presentation of scholarship winners. Thank you. All right, Nicholas, you want me to just go ahead? Yes, please, you have the floor. Okay. Um, Thank you, Father Demetrius. As, as a matter of fact, uh, I'd like to say I got all dressed up for you and everybody, but that's not true. I am actually at a wedding here at St. Demetrius, and uh, Father Jim is actually a co-celebrant uh, here today, so he's here too. So, uh, so he's actually in the other room. So I can get him on here too if you want. Uh, like to uh, just go sort of right into the. Uh, uh, presentations. I'm going to change it up a little bit. Usually, uh, as, as those of you who've been with uh, MEFGOX know that it, uh, I basically uh, is part of the uh, presenting of the scholarships. I do a bio and then sort of semi surprise who that bio is. I'm actually going to tell you who the bio is going to be about up front. So you can sort of because uh, I know some of the recipients are online and uh, you know, sort of match faces with uh, people and, and their, their backgrounds. So I, I, just a little bit different. So uh, let, let us begin. Uh, uh, the, and uh, the presentation. So the, the first Befcock scholarship started in 1958 and has continued every year, making this the 63rd year. In 1987, the Mefcox Memorial Scholarship Foundation was created to not only help our church musicians improve themselves, but to also honor the memories of the church musicians and clergy of MEFCOX that have passed to a better place. In 1990, through the personal contributions and substantial fundraising efforts by Charlie Michaels of Dayton, Ohio, the annual Charles M. Michaels Stewardship Award was established. Subsequently, the two funds were merged to create the MEFCOX Memorial Scholarship Endowment Fund. This is a self-perpetuating fund where only the interest is used towards scholarships. The generous donations of Federation have increased the, the corpus of the endowment to over $108,000 in 
as of this week. The scholarships are awarded to qualified deserving individuals in order to help them improve and develop themselves musically to benefit our churches. Uh, an applicant must be a high school graduate and belong to a parish that has pledged and paid their federation stewardship. Examples of how the recipient may use the funds, directors may take lessons to learn directing techniques, accompanists may take piano or organ, organ lessons, composers may take courses in music theory or composing, singers may take voice lessons, cantors may study Byzantine chant, and a person may train to be a cantor. Uh, the, uh, the, the Memorial Scholarship donations can be done through uh, PayPal, which is the link that uh, Father Demetrius had put on the uh, um, Zoom meeting. Uh, uh, Georgia Stathopoulos of the Annunciation Akron and I have reviewed the scholarship uh, um, applicants and uh, have decided to award five scholarships this year to a very deserving applic applicants to the Memorial Scholarship. Uh, that's Memorial Scholarship. <clears throat> sort of changing up as I'm reading, so excuse me as I go through, because some of the things don't apply. <laughs> um, so the first uh, uh, applicant and, uh, and award recipient is going to be Andrew Theophanos. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, Andrew is on online, and uh, Andrew has been involved in the choir since a very young age, along with being an altar server and participant in the oratorical festival, the district finals, and a volunteer at the Paris Glendies. In addition, he plays violin in the Youngstown Youth Symphony Orchestra and his high school symphony orchestra and chamber orchestra, which he won state and national awards. This young man earned superior rankings in various piano competitions and high ranking in music theory performances. He, uh, he has even uh, organized an Eagle Scout project at the parish. For the last four years, he has been an organist for the choir. And for the last several months, he has, uh, several years, um, last several months, he has played organ and directed the choir while all still in the high school. Uh, Andrew will be studying biomedical engineering at the University of Pittsburgh, PA, in, in Pittsburgh, PA. One to thing, and uh, Andrew's a member from the St. John's Forerunner Church in Boardman, Ohio. I think Andrew's also there, uh, logged on. So, congratulations, Andrew. Thank you very much. I'm very appreciative for being selected. <laughs> Well, thank you for applying. Uh, very uh, deserving recipient. Uh, the next scholarship recipient is uh, actually is uh, Victoria Martin. Um, she's from Holy Trinity Church from Carmel, Indiana. Uh, Victoria has been involved in the church so, from also a very young age. Uh, she joined the adult choir at age 16. She's been playing piano since five years old and violin since she was 10 years old. She's been part of Goya Dance Group, Greek Club. Uh, she's a Greek Club founder and president and volunteer at parish festivals, oratorical festivals, Daughters of Penelope, mission trips to Mexico and Guatemala. One high school, she was part of the chamber choir, ladies cadet choir, dinner theater programs, sang the national anthem and was in the drama club, National Honor Society, National Spanish Honor Society, the debate captain um, and in college, she was an active member of OCF, serving as a president, and is the assistant choir director at the parish. Uh, Victoria is, is, a, is a studying bio, biological sciences at Indiana University in Bloomington, Indiana. And again, she's uh, currently at Holy Trinity Church in Carmel, Indiana. I don't think Victoria is on, but. Another very deserving. I think Victoria's uh, won several, I believe, scholarships. Uh, the next scholarship recipient uh, is uh, Anastasia Papagogiu. Uh, hopefully I did not butcher that one. 
She's from St. Nicholas Choir in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Anastasia uh, has been involved in church since a very young age. She has been in the choir since around age eight. In addition, she's been playing piano and dance since also a very young age. She was part of Goya Dance Group, volunteers at the Parish Festival, Oratorical Festivals, uh, Daughters of Penelope, and the Diocese Summer Camps. While in high school, she was part of the Chamber Choir, various a cappella choirs, multiple uh, ballet performances, National Honor Society, and senior class executive board member. Uh, with the encouragement of her prestaminos, she will be learning Byzantine chant and be joining the Parish Woman Chant Group. And uh, Anastasia is studying a triple major at college. She'll be studying Greek language and literature, computer science, and humanities at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And uh, again, Anastasia is from St. Nicholas, Ann Arbor. Um, the third recipient, or yeah, third recipient, fourth recipient, is uh, is uh, Ria. Cron uh, I'm not gonna butcher butcher your name, Crono Cornelius. I know Ria's okay. on Cronius. somewhere. Cronius. So, and actually, Ria, I think where are you in Greece right now? I am in Greece. Yeah, um, <laughs> that's why it's dark because my family's sleeping. It's 40 here. <laughs> Thank you for making the effort. <laughs> no problem. Thank you for having me. So, uh, uh, Ria again is also a participant that has been uh, involved with the church for a long time. She's been in the choir for the last 10 years. In addition, she's been studying guitar, piano, and violin. She's part of Goya, Yal, the Greek dancers, uh, volunteers at the parish festivals, oratorical festivals. Um, while in high school, she was part of the choral group, a cappella choir, chamber choir, National Honor Society, French National Honor Society, and chess club. Uh, Uh, I'm sorry. And uh, well, Ria, were you also going to be uh, join, studying the, um, uh, I apologize, I'm getting my pages mixed up here, with the uh, going into the chant also, or no? I don't know. Uh, um, I've actually recently been in contact with someone, my choir director um, at my university, Drexel University, um, put me in contact with um, a Greek chanter, and I'm blanking on his name right now, but he's like been sending right. me a lot of information about <laughs> chant music, but yeah, I'm yeah. learning it. <laughs> yeah, okay. I was, because uh, uh, it, was, it was odd, the, the two people are also started to learn chant, which is, is it relatively rare because uh, I know it's so easy. Everybody does it. So, <laughs> but uh, so uh, uh, Ria is uh, studying biology at Drexel University in Philadelphia, PA, and uh, Ria is from uh, Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Church in Camp Hill, Pennsylvania. And our last recipient is. Uh, Ava Turner. Um, uh, Ava Turner is from St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church in Jamestown, New York. Uh, Ava has been uh, involved in charge with the church a very long time. She's been in the choir for the last several years. In addition, she's been studying guitar, piano, and violin. She was part of the Goya, uh, and she volunteers at the parish festivals participated in the oratorical festivals and the diocese summer camp. In high school, she also sang at um, a cappella choirs and she also uh, performed at a community service program where the groups uh, dress up and sing at children's hospitals around town. Uh, she's also a member of the National Honor Society, the Key Club, uh, Merit Club, uh, Dance Group, 
honor roll swim team, track team, and also works as a tutor in high school. Uh, uh, Ava will be studying hearing and speech at Ed Edinburgh University in Ed Edinburgh, PA. And uh, Ava goes to St. Nicholas Creek Orthodox, as I said, Jamestown, New York. So congratulations to Ava and her family too. I think that should be everybody, should be five of them. Any questions? Uh, does anybody want to say anything? Uh, the recipients that are on, um, you're more than welcome to say any words if you'd like. <laughs> if not, uh, Nicholas, you could take take it back over, and I, I can get back to the to the reception. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you, Dan, for presenting our awards tonight to these five very deserving students. Congratulations to you all and may God bless you in all your musical endeavors this year. Thank you for being here. And thank you to Father Dimitrios tonight for guiding us through these wonderful performances and helping showcase such magnificent talent across our Federation. I'd like to especially thank the entire program committee that made this event tonight possible. Irene Georgiantis, Barbara Minton, Dan Pakis, Vicky Pappas, Georgia Stathopoulos and Kiriakos Theofanus. They have been working so diligently behind the scenes for many weeks now, and I'm grateful to each of them for their efforts to put on this spectacular program, a new program for us to enjoy tonight. And finally, thank you all for joining us this evening. One last time, if you have not already given, remember to take a look down in the chat in Zoom for the PayPal link to make an online donation to our Memorial Scholarship Fund. We're watching the donations roll in here, so thank you for those who have already contributed. Remember, you may offer a contribution in honor or in memory of a beloved church musician. You can also visit mefgox.org or check the flyer, the program that you received about this event in your email for details on how to mail in a check instead. We will be posting the recording of this event on our YouTube channel in the coming week. So you will be able to share this with those who could not join us live this evening. Coming tomorrow, a few reminders, services will be live streamed from Saints Constantine and Helen in Westland, Michigan. The choir will be singing tomorrow. They're coming back specially for our event this weekend and the church will hold a memorial service in memory of our beloved church musicians who have fallen asleep in the Lord. Afterwards, our Vice President Barbara Minton will be presenting the Patriarch Athenagoras Award for Distinguished Metropolis Service. So be sure to tune in for that, probably around or a little after 11 o'clock a.m. I believe the liturgy starts at 10 o'clock a.m. in Westland. Then tomorrow afternoon, we will be giving a preview to you all of our 2022 convention plans, as well as the music we will be singing. A workshop will be led by Dr. Anne-Marie Kukios of Ann Arbor. Good evening, Anne-Marie. I know you're out there before we say our final farewells tomorrow afternoon. So make sure that you have your Bodle music handy tomorrow. If you need an electronic copy, simply visit orthodoxmusic.us. The website is orthodoxmusic.us to request a copy and it can be sent to you directly via email. So with that, this concludes our presentation this evening, but everyone is invited to remain on as the recording ends for some parea, some social time together, if you're able to stay. Thank you and good evening.